Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make some wax sand today. I use both wax sand and wax dirt. I use the wax sand for the base of my sets. I use it to bed my traps in. I think that it keeps the water out from underneath the traps. It drains really well. And then I also use it as a covering before I put the small thin layer of wax dirt. The dirt's just to blend it in. The sand is more uh, useful to me. It doesn't freeze as quickly and it takes the wax on really, really well. Uh, to get started, you need some sand. I happen to use wash sand, which is a little coarser. Uh, I just happen to like it. Uh, you can also use masonry sand or just plain screen sand, but this is what works for me. You get uh, granular wax and you can use some gloves. You don't have to use gloves, especially if you make it early in the season, because if you just let it air out, all your scent will dissipate anyways. But I, I'll just use gloves for today, just for fun. Um, there's about an inch and a half of sand here on the table. And what I do is I give it a good coating of the, uh, the wax on top, the granular wax. It's already heated up from the sun all day. And uh, as you coat it, you're going to see, you know, you'll get used to it the more you make, but um, as it melts, the sand is going to look wet on the top. Then you mix it back through. And then when it melts again, you're going to start to see that the entire sand uh, throughout is going to look wet. And that's how you know you have enough wax on the sand. What we're going to do is uh, cover this up. And I'm going to need my assistant to come help me. And we're just cover this up. So it speeds up the process. Gives it the greenhouse effect here. So that it gets really hot really fast. And this will usually be done within a day or so, depending on the weather. I'm making it a little late this year, so it's not going to go as quickly as I like. but. this over the top here and now I just let it sit when it wets down through again I'm going to mix it up one more time throw another coat on it until it looks wet all the way through and that's how I make black sand 